Welcome to the Langston Catheter In-Service video. In this video, we will review the catheter overview, setup, deployment, and tips in troubleshooting. The Langston catheter is the only device designed for simultaneous pressure measurements to accurately calculate the aortic pressure gradient in the valve effective orifice area. The Langston catheter's two-in-one coaxial lumen design assists clinicians to measure pressure in an accurate and efficient manner. The catheter's two-in-one coaxial lumen design allows for connections to separate pressure transducers. This provides simultaneous pressure measurement and calculation of the pressure gradient. The outer lumen is used to measure the aortic pressure, which connect to the medial side holes. The inner lumen is used to measure left ventricle pressures, which connect to the pigtail. The pigtail can be used for contrast injection. Prior to use, carefully inspect the Langston dual lumen catheter packaging and components for damage. Utilizing sterile technique, remove the Langston dual lumen catheter from its packaging and transfer to the sterile field. Thoroughly flush both lumens with heparinized saline. Turn the outer lumen stopcock to the off position. Precaution. The catheter lumen must be flushed with heparinized saline prior to use to ensure catheter is free from debris which could be introduced into the body. The Langston uses a guide wire that is 0 0.038 or less. The Langston pigtail catheter is supplied with a tip straightener to use at your discretion. If using, slide the straightener distally until both tips align. Alternatively, load the inner lumen of a Langston onto the wire by straightening out the pigtail. Insert the catheter through the already positioned introducer sheath of appropriate size. Under fluoroscopy, position the catheter in the desired location. Remove the guide wire. Aspirate and flush both lumens. Precaution. Ensure that the stopcock is in the closed position or connected to pressure tubing at all times. Leaving the stopcock port open without pressure tubing attached may result in bleed back. Both lumens must be flushed with heparinized saline to prevent clot formation and severe pressure damping. Aspiration of blood must be immediately followed with a flush. Connect both lumens to pressure tubing utilizing fluid to fluid connection. If extension tubing is used, Select a type which is as short and rigid as possible. All lines should be free of all air. Precaution! Check that all fittings and attachments are secure, so that air is not introduced into the catheter during the procedure. Even small air bubbles could cause patient injury or severe damping of transmitted pressure signals. If extension tubing is used, select a type which is as short and rigid as possible. Use of an extension line with a large inner diameter made of a soft material or over 1.2 meters in length may cause overdamping of the pressure signal and may lead to misinterpretation. Open outer lumen stopcock, obtain measurements. Observe the simultaneous waveforms. The pressure gradient can be calculated and the degree of aortic stenosis can be diagnosed. Angiography may be performed as desired through the inner lumen
Precaution. Do not use the outer lumen for the delivery or infusion of diagnostic, embolic, therapeutic materials or to perform pressure injections of contrast medium into the vascular system, as such pressure injection could result in device damage and inaccurate pressure readings. Dispose of Langston Dual Lumen Catheter following standard hospital procedure. These tips may help ensure a successful procedure. All Langston devices require a second transducer. Make sure to flush both lumens with a heparinized solution and turn the stopcock off before inserting the catheter into the introducer sheath. If blood is drawn into either lumen, that lumen should be flushed immediately. Not doing so could result in a clot formation. When placed appropriately, the outer lumen measures the pressure proximal to the valve. The Langston catheters have a tag that's marked AO on the sidearm to remind the user that it is the aortic pressure. Do not use the outer lumen for the delivery or infusion of diagnostic, embolic, therapeutic materials or to perform pressure injections of contrast medium into the vascular system, as such pressure injections could result in device damage and inaccurate pressure readings. The tag on the sidearm provides a reminder. Be sure to watch for air bubbles in the line and flush to eliminate bubbles. Make sure you are using the same tubing on each lumen. Improper setup can affect Langston's accuracy. Transducers should be placed at the same height and at the same distance to the heart. The catheter should be normalized, zeroed out prior to crossing the valves to ensure that both lumens are measuring at the same level before you begin taking pressure measurements across the valve. Be aware that contrast can impact the pressure measured. If you take an LV angiogram before pulling back, this may impact your pressure readings. Make sure to flush after all contrast injections. If difficulty is encountered, here are some solutions to the most common problems. Catheter kinking is unlikely due to the braided construction, but if it does, remove the catheter and use a new one. Damped pressure readings are most often the result of air bubbles being trapped in the device. Therefore, it is very important that you flush thoroughly and often. Be sure to aspirate the bubble first to avoid air embolism. We recommend flushing the Langston catheter before you deploy it as well as once you are in the heart and pull your wire, sometimes air can get sucked into the system if the wire is removed too quickly. If the aortic pressure is damped, the catheter tip may be obstructed. 